Oh, that? You'll find out what that was in a bit. Oh, damn it. (laughs) Welcome to Dorwin Falls, Quebec, Canada, where I tried to do something rather interesting. I decided that on this hike, I would, well, I guess I'll just tell you myself. So today, I'm vlogging with only a gimbal. Also, dude, you need a haircut. using the Ziyun Crane 2S. <laughs> Am I crazy? <laughs> Probably. Well, maybe crazy isn't really the right word to use here. I mean, it's totally acceptable to question whether it's worth the extra hassle. And, well, your gorilla pod doesn't really make it easy to get shots like this. That is John Castillo. You should go check out his channel. And now John was using a Gorillapod that day, so it was a great opportunity to see which tool was easier, more fun, and convenient to use for a vlog. John, you have the um, Ronin S, right? Yes. What do you think about that gimbal? <laughs> uh, I like it a lot, but I would only really use it for work because it's sort of difficult to transport. So today I decided to bring my 24 to 105 lens, the kit lens that comes with the USR. That, my friends, was my first mistake. The reason I put the zoom lens on is because it's versatile, especially with a balanced gimbal. I don't want to have to take off my lens if I want to get different shots or different zooms. You really do need a wide angle lens for vlogging, and this was strike one for the gimbal, because changing lenses on a gimbal is kind of a pain in the ass. You know what's always, what I've always been amazed at? is the fact that your username on Instagram is my first name is your first name like it's yeah. almost impossible these days to get your first name as your username well, so far I have absolutely no issue with the weight of the gimbal what I'm really having a problem with is the convenience now if you didn't know this the crane 2s has locks so that the camera doesn't flop around while you're transporting it can, can you do a walking away shot yeah I can do a walking away shot but I started putting these locks on while I was vlogging because I just found it easier. It's kind of the same thing as a gorilla pod, just like a heavy gorilla pod. Just too much having to control the motors and get it right all the time. Just way easier just to turn it, just like a gorilla pod. I'm starting to realize why people don't vlog with gimbals. And before we get all down on ourselves, we do have to realize that gimbals do definitely have a place. I mean, just look at these shots. They're in real time and they're hella smooth. Okay, these aren't gimbal shots, but hey, when in Rome. Uh, gimbal vlogging. Well, luckily the Crane 2 had me very prepared for what John was about to spring on me next. So I was thinking, we're in this beautiful place. With the setups we have, we each have a very particular setup for today for a specific reason. B-roll battle. Can't swap the lens, can't change the setup. <laughs> okay, John, you're on. Okay. I'm down. <laughs> I just got the Crane 2S, so this was a fantastic opportunity to put it through its paces. So I'm also gonna add an extra challenge to myself with this B-roll battle, is I wanna use every single possible mode that this Zune Crane 2 has to offer. Makes me nervous, actually, because I don't have modes. I just have <laughs> this. <laughs> you have gorilla mode. The gorilla mode. <laughs> gorilla mode. For if I can win this B-roll challenge, it might make it worth it. It might. John, you might have beaten me walking around with your convenient and lightweight gorilla pod, but I'll show you. The gimbal is a king of B-roll. Okay, we've chosen our location for the B-roll challenge. And I have an idea, but I don't want to give all of my secrets away, so I'm gonna go over here and tell them. You can shoot the sickest B-roll you want, but you gotta add a touch of storyline to secure the W. That was my wild card. And now it's time for you guys to be the judge. You already saw my B-roll challenge at the beginning of this episode, so let's roll John's now. 
Here we go. All right, I can't give away the whole thing. You should head over to John's channel to check out the rest and check out his video. Okay, let's replay mine, but this time I'll mark down the gimbal mode I was using so you can see what the Crane 2S has to offer. So John, what are the benefits you find when you're using your Gorilla Pod? Uh, I think it's just very quick. I think that's from what I saw in today's vlog with Keegan and in the B-roll challenge is that I could just like curl these legs up, put it down on the floor and like get going. Whereas uh, Keegan, I think with his crane, it was definitely a little bit more work. I it think. disrupts your momentum. You nailed it, John. For me, it was really difficult to multitask vlogging and gimbling. However, I'm going to say that there is one benefit to having the gimbal, is the fact that you have a gimbal on you. <laughs> but I think generally, when you think of the idea of vlogging, it's really about capturing moments, right? Yeah. Definitely. And when you have to fidget with a gimbal, you're going to miss the moment. But the fact that I have to hold it like this also <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Dude, nice. You're not going to reach for a screwdriver to cut a piece of wood in half. But let's say you're building a gorgeous glimmering walnut coffee table such as this one. You will probably have both a screwdriver and a saw on hand. I'm talking about having the right tool for the right job. I think that each tool has its use and if you're able to swing it, why not bring both when you're going out to shoot? And that way you get the best of both worlds. Use your Gorillapod for ease and convenience when you're vlogging and trying to capture moments, and then use your gimbal when you know you need to take the time to win a B-roll competition. <laughs> oh, I got tired. Oh, I got tired. Okay, finish the shot. Anything for the shot. <sighs> As always, thank you guys so much for watching. It's seriously a pleasure to have you watching these videos, even though, you know, I can't really see you watching it. I know you're here. Considering you made it this far, you must like the video, so it would be awesome if you haven't already to hit that thumbs up button for me and subscribe if you haven't. Go ahead and click on John's face right there to head to his channel, subscribe to him. And with all that said, I will catch you in the next video. Peace.